housing fit for shelter of our human beings. We want education for our people. We want all black men to be exempt from military service. We want an immediate end to police brutality and murder of black people. We want all black men freed from prisons and jails. We want all black men to be tried by a jury of their own peers. We want land, bread, housing, education, clothing, justice, and peace. Like learn, just learn about their whereabouts, see where they come from, see where your people's is. And if you like that, if you dig so deep and you like their last name and you like their first name, you should be able to feel me, do what you gotta do and change your name. You know, but if I dug deep into it and I found out I had a relative named Kunta Kente or something, I'd probably, I'd probably be last name Kente or something, you feel me? But I agree only if they choose to, but there's nothing really wrong with that. Learn your roots, where you come from. Even though you live in America, you still, you still, like, our description looks like Africans, so that's really it. I said, I said they shouldn't because some people don't want that name. And I see it in this last one that they have now in this race. I want to just change my name. I say, yeah, that's it. That African Americans retain their name to honor their um, ancestors because, you know, all the work they put in for it, they really went through all this so they could make a great future for us, you know. And then they went through tragedy. We went through a couple of tragedies for our equality, you know, Martin Luther King, what he did for us, and Malcolm X and Mahatma Gandhi, what they did for us. I mean, that's why I say. We should change our name to them so we can honor them. 
Because we, we living through them, you know? God said, no, we should not change our name because all of us don't really know our ancestors, ancestors really like that. You feel me? You said Frederick Douglass, he got his name from the white people. You feel me? Not put the kente in them. You feel me? That's the old life. We're going to keep this name because you feel me? We the new life. And I just stick to my name. All right, so, hey. Why I think it's better to be feared than loved is... You know, you have more power when you're feared, and no one really, uh, no one really, you know, messes with you when you're feared. Like you have more authority over everyone else, and uh, uh, the reason why I think uh, the loved ones, uh, the loved ones are kind of bad because some people, uh, some people fully love the ones, and where in but if you fear, there's more than one person that's fearing you. You can't just put fear to one person without another person telling them you put fear in them. Which makes another people feel like that they're fear of you, that you're an enemy. So whatever you say about all that, more power, that's just gonna make more people wanna kill the same person. In a bad environment, the hood. They won't say like that. Okay. Now, now say if you wanted, say if you was around loved ones, you know, you walking through the hood or whatever. They gonna say hi, you know, but if you fear you walking through the hood or whatever, ain't nobody gonna say hi to you or whatever. People gonna try to, you know, stay distant from you. They're not gonna wanna be around you. They're not gonna invite you to go chill with them or nothing like that. But most likely, to me, I think the name should not be changed because our bloodline, like our ancestors, like for instance, like my great great grandfather had the same man as me and my and my dad also. So. I think it just follow through. Well, for me, I think Africans should change their names because if they don't like their background or their ancestors or the history where they came from, they should. You should, um, if you're getting bullied, I feel like you should whoop them all to it. You're not gonna let yourself just get bullied and you're supposed to whoop them. You gotta get yourself a out of there, and if talking to them don't work, then you gotta put me past somebody, or just, yeah, I feel like you gotta use violence to get a fight. We're killing up our leaders.